In today's video, we are testing something pretty special. And it's not a product I've ever reviewed before. It's not a brand that I've ever reviewed before. And it's definitely not mini party rings. The Costco Kirkland Signature Golf Ball. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all to the channel or back to the channel if you're already a subscriber. If you're not already a subscriber, then why not hit that subscribe button below? That way you won't miss any of the great golf related content I bring to you guys every single day. In today's video, now this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while. So much so we've come out very early in a bid to avoid the rain. Oh, that is good. First swing of the day. Yes, please. So, let's talk Costco and money. As you see, guys, money is something that I very rarely talk about on this channel. Basically, unless we're talking about PXG or we're talking about a proper budget golf ball. Now, these golf balls are classed as performance golf balls and they weigh in at about a pound each. Wow. Wow. And I can hear what you're all thinking, surely for a pound each, or less than a pound each, or however much they cost there, they're not going to be very good, are they? Surely they're going to be a budget golf ball, because for a pound you can just about get like a lake ball, or a top fly, or just something that's not very good. Well, fair to say, I absolutely nutted that drive. Uh, we're in the middle of the fairway, but, but it just, it's a little bit, I mean, it was the first swing of the day pretty much, I had a little bit of a warm-up before, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm not going to lie, you all love it when I say that, I think, don't you? Um, and we're into a slight draft. Like, can you can you see the trees? No? Probably, yeah, not quite. Um, yeah. Guys, hit those comments below. Who wants to see me test these alongside a Pro V1 in the studio? And like this video, because if this video gets a thousand likes, I'll do that very, very test. That's fair, right? Let's get back playing. Right, so just what is it that Costco or Kirkland, I don't know where the camera is, or Kirkland say about these golf balls? Basically, they are a three-piece golf ball with a urethane cover. The mantle, which is the second layer, is designed to react with the soft cover to optimise spin shots for irons and wedges, which I think every golf ball that's ever been manufactured has said. The cover is a durable urethane cover and designed for spin and greenside control. So, the feel... To be honest, the cover, the cover does feel good. And the graphics don't really offend me either. I really like the kind of performance bit there and the kind of plus, I don't know, it just, it looks nice to me. There is actually on this one a paint imperfection on that dimple there. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and zoom in on that as good as I can. Better hurry up because the rain's coming. So we have, we have 180 yards left in. Now, again, we are into a little bit of wind, but last time I played this hole, we definitely didn't have 180 yards and I'm going to go five iron again because we're into the wind and with a normal ball that should get there obviously with a decent strike I've hit that so good it's gone a little bit left shock horror we're up there and one thing's really really surprised me with that really surprised me I can't quite believe how low that came out that came out like a almost like a bullet and usually with my long irons as you'll know I've swapped my long irons to try and kind of bring the flight down maybe I just need to swap the golf ball to a Costco ball surely not surely not and come to think of it the drive came out pretty low as well so if you are looking for a low ball flight I mean don't get me wrong this is on two shots but I quite enjoyed that let's see what the feel like around the greens out of the wet rough because obviously, I checked the forecast for today and it was due to be 10% chance of rain this morning. I mean, you'd take your chances, wouldn't you? But come on. Right, Kirkland. I'm just going to call it the Costco ball, to be fair, I think. I can't really complain with that, to be fair. For a pound. A pound! Can't really complain. Putter. And you see, I could definitely have just tested this in the studio, but I really wanted to get it out here, get it out on the golf course. We've been cooped up for so long. I've done so much testing 
inside or in the garden, just want to get out on the course. So we've left ourselves actually with a bit of a tricky five footer for par on this first hole. And I always think that, new pockets, I think it's there, is it? I always think that golf balls in putting is massively underrated because the feel means so much to you. The alignment aid feels so much to you. So like I said, big fan of the alignment aid, the performance, I think it says, performance? Yeah, performance. And also, we need to check how it feels off the putter face because that is massive. Worst stroke ever, but felt okay. The ball, that is. Does anybody ever stand over a putter and just feel like the putting stroke feels like a signature? That felt absolutely awful then, and the rain's properly coming down now, so that me having to buy a new camera probably next week. Nice one. So what are my real thoughts on a budget golf ball, a new budget golf ball to the market, albeit not that new anymore? Do we need, do we need places like Costco to provide us with budget golf balls so we can get our golf fix, we can get it a little bit cheaper, we can still get the, um, well, the, the performance? I personally think it's good. I think the more people who are making golf balls, obviously it's going to drive the price down, it's going to drive demand down. So generally it shouldn't cost you as much to play golf, which is always a bonus. How far have we got here? 192 yards, par three. On the basis of the last hole being into the wind, this one should be downwind. I'm going to go five iron again. The five iron is getting a good workout today, to be fair. And one thing I will say is the ball definitely doesn't offend me looking down at it. Some balls with kind of funky logos on or flaring colours on, they generally might be a little bit hit and miss with people. I know the picks massively divide opinion, but this one, the, the logo is nice and subtle. It looks nice. There's a tiny dash of red flare on there. So as a design, it actually looks quite nice. It's round as well and white. Do they do them in yellow? I don't know. Right, 5 iron, 190, be the club. Is it gonna come out low again or will this one climb a little bit? Let's see. That's all over it, go! Go! Oh, tell you what, tell you what, it might be a longer putt than it looks, but, but, it feels fine for a pound, it feels great. So now I've got a Costco membership, I could maybe. And you see, I've got a sneaky feeling, guys, this video is going to do quite well because you guys, my kind of audience, my friends, or friends, friends, if you've seen that, you'll know what I mean. But I think this video is going to do quite well because whenever I do videos on ways to save money when playing golf, they generally do well. And that doesn't surprise me because golf, although it doesn't need to be expensive, it can get pretty expensive if you let it. And just by kind of changing a three pound golf ball, a four pound golf ball to a one pound golf ball, we're all human, we all lose golf balls. If you lose two, three balls a week, that soon adds up. But would you take the performance loss if there is any? Hit those comments below and let me know. Okay, okay, it's not quite as close as it looked. And to be honest, it's done really well to cling on to this side of the green because what you don't want to do here is go there and we had all the room in the world there, but we got away with it. So again, we're going to get the putter out and we're going to see how it feels maybe on a slightly longer putt, on a birdie putt. Is it going to come off? I really need to get a ball marker. This will do. Is it going to come off the putter nice and soft? Is it going to come off a little bit fiery? Is it going to feel like I want it to feel? That little tiny bit of paint imperfections really, really just getting me. There, look. You might not see it on there, but it's definitely there. Right. Come on, birdie for the first Costco birdie. We are kind of ignoring the fact as well that we're a good club short here, really. And I wouldn't want to be hitting the four iron 190, not when I perceive it to be down breeze as well. Not much in this, actually. Oh, you got it, go. Oh. Feels great, I must say. I must say, I've got absolutely no issues with the feel of this golf ball off the putter. That's another par. What about out of there? You see, the Costco ball does claim to have good spin, good soft feel around the greens, and that's going to include out of bunkers. So can we get this short-sided flag with three attempts? Wet sand as well, never nice. I 
Has anyone got a Costco card? Anyone? And you all know that my bunker play, although isn't bad, definitely, definitely isn't the strongest part of my game, but that's three up and downs, really. So, if we're quite happy with the feel around the greens, we're quite happy with the trajectory that's coming out potentially a little bit lower, albeit only on a few shots, what's the downside? I guess we'd have to test that in the studio, but I have found that distance, maybe? I'm just going to finish these off with the wedge because it's very rare that in tests I play such that would have gone in with that ball, such good shots. Wow, any scuff marks on those from those bunker shots? Because we all know that you can get the odd, the odd kind of mark on there. Um, see again here, there's like a little bit of a, kind of a, it like it's tiny, but so close you might not even see it. Let me get the phone out actually, because we all know that a phone camera is better than a normal camera. And see if you can see this guys. So just, there, yeah, you can definitely see that now. That's, um, I, I can't kind of, it's just like you kind of maybe skip through QC a little bit, but we have played a few holes with, I think it's this ball. But then for a pound, would you care? There's that, isn't there? Because as much as we know that QC in golf balls is absolutely massive, the core needs to be right, the shell needs to be right, the dimples need to be, is that another one or is that the same one? Same one. The dimples need to be absolutely right. Even the depth of the paint needs to be perfect. So, who should use this ball? Should you use this ball? Should I use this ball? Should a tour pro use this ball? Imagine if Costco paid a tour pro on the PGA Tour to use the Kirkland Signature Golf Ball. Then you might see people bag it. Then you might see people take it a little bit more seriously. Um, for the couple of holes I've played with it, I wouldn't say it's ruined my game. I wouldn't say it's ruined the enjoyment of the game. I think visually and aesthetically, it's a nice looking kind of pattern on there. Yeah. So our adventure brings us to the 18th hole here at Huddersfield Golf Club, and it is a par five downhill downwind. Actually, it's more like kind of this way, but what we're gonna do, we're gonna test the Kirkland golf ball, the Costco golf ball against the TP5X Pix golf ball, which I usually use. Just a bit of a long drive battle, and then we're gonna obviously play the Costco ball in from there. Usually downwind this hole downhill, it's a little bit wet today, but I would expect to hit no more than maybe five, six iron in, maybe even less on a dry day. So this is gonna be interesting. Let's pray for two good swings. And we're gonna start with Costco. Just left of the pole, James, will do. Oh, about there. About there with this wind, right. That's pretty much as good as we've got with the Costco. So tailor-made TP5 picks. You're in the corner for the big boys, the expensive boys, the three pound 50, four pound golf balls, the flashy picks logo balls. Quite looking forward to this, I hope I hit the same. Oh, exactly the same, exactly the same. And that one came out low as well. So maybe it is just me hitting it low today. You notice I'm rushing because I can't wait to see where they are. I'll tell you what, I'm very, very, very excited to get down there and see where those are. They are two of the best, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just excited to potentially try and make Eagle and hit like a seven or an eight iron into this par five. So a little bit of a kind of round up on the holes that I've played with this ball, because I do think it's vitally important that when you are testing a golf ball, when you're buying a new golf ball for the very first time, yes, make sure the numbers are right, make sure the spin's right, make sure you're getting what you want from it with your driver, with your irons, but you need to make sure you can play with it. You need to make sure you can feel it around the greens. You can get that feel you want from the putter and the trajectory as well. So kind of range, but what does it do on the course? Right guys, we've got over the hill here. And I'm just trying to catch my breath to be fair. And I can see two golf balls. One's caught the right hand rough and one is further down in the fairway. We'll focus away from my finger now. And this is quite tough because I mean, I hit them both pretty well. One of them was a tiny bit further right than the other one. And the one which was a tiny bit further right was the Costco ball. I'm pretty sure that's the one that's going to be the short one. That's the one where I'm hitting maybe four iron in, five iron in, instead of six iron, seven iron potentially. I can see it now because there's no markings on it. So actually, it might have taken a bad bounce. This is the kind of beauty of outdoor testing. But the TP5 is way down there as you can see. So, um, 
So all in all, I think it's fair to say that it's done okay. It's done okay for the price it is. It's not down there. It could be, it could be to do with the bounce. It could be to do with it being two yards further right. And again, for a pound, I've still got five iron in my hand. I've still got a chance of hitting that green in two. Are we gonna do it? Are we gonna do it? Eagle with a Costco ball. I'd have to buy them then, wouldn't I? I've left it out to the right, but I've struck it so well. And that, um, well, it's definitely not going to be an eagle. I'm going to show you where that is because that's um, quite a jovial point to finish on, I think. Yeah, a bit of comedy. Out of interest, shall we hit the picks in? Well, we've got nothing else to do, have we? I don't know if you guys are rushing off anywhere, but if you want to stay tuned and see if we get anywhere with the picks, that'll be uh, quite a nice way to finish. We're still not there yet, actually. That's the perfect drive on this hole, really. You just couldn't ask for any more. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go six iron. No, seven iron. I'm gonna go seven iron. If I can get that back in there. The wind's turned round now as well, we're into the wind. Every hole's been into the wind, how's that happened? Oh, hold your line. Hold your line. Middle of the green with the picks. And to be fair, if we're talking about fine margins for a golf ball, if that's middle of the green with the picks on this par five, yes, you can talk about the balance of the tee. Yes, you can talk about fine margins in the game, but results don't lie. And I've got an eagle put with the picks and hopefully a definite birdie. And with the Costco ball, um, well, it kind of hit that big tree which is, to be fair, a little bit short of the green as well. Um, dropped kind of here. And um, well, actually, it's not as bad as I thought. It's lying terribly, but I thought it was like in there. Chance. And I say chance in like the loosest possible term because this is, um, well, it's, I mean, it's not really a chance, but. And I think we are just about finishing in time for the rain. We've got a little chip for birdie. We probably should make par actually, so not too bad. Three pars indefinite. How do I feel about the Costco Kirkland Performance Golf Ball? Mixed. You see, for the price, I just really wouldn't be complaining. Uh, I know you should definitely put this and definitely not use sand wedge. Chris would kill me, but I fancy making this with a sand wedge. Um, yeah, for a pound, I don't know however much these cost. It really hasn't hindered me that much. I know I've just picked the picks up from over there. It was kind of 40 foot for Eagle, but the rain's really coming now, so we're gonna hurry up a little bit. Chip in for it, birdie. Thanks for coming. Take that, Chris. And uh, basically, it's like Tiger Woods at the Masters, isn't it? With the logo just pointing up. Guys, guys, thank you so much for watching. Massive, I hope you've enjoyed that. Let's get the water off that lens a little bit if you have make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already let me know what else you want to see as well do you want to see one second do you want to see this golf ball tested against the proof you want in the studio on flight scope if you do like it a thousand likes and we'll do it it's raining so i'm gonna have to go guys but i really look forward to seeing you tomorrow bye Oh, over it. Go! Go!